Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. Now today I am starting with cleaning up the kitchen because we had breakfast this morning. You can see my coffee is sitting back there and I also had some dirty dishes still in the sink from last night. So we emptied the clean dishwasher this morning and I wasn't able to fit everything in the dishwasher last night so I'm going to load that stuff up and clean off the table a bit from where Owen had breakfast and just get the day started with a clean kitchen because I don't know about you, but when my kitchen is a mess, it is a terrible way for me to start the day. So I try my best to clean it every night and try to get all of the dishes into the dishwasher, run it at night, and then just put away the clean dishes in the morning, but it doesn't always work out that way. One of the other clean dishes I had was this container that I put our milk in for Owen because the large gallons we buy are really big to have in our refrigerator. So I like to decant it and put the rest in the basement. So now I'm in the basement and doing a much needed vacuum in here. I had an issue with our vacuum. So I don't know what happened with it, but something with the filter said it wasn't working and I tried cleaning out all of the different parts, tried cleaning out everything. I thought I fixed it. Then I put it back together and I still hadn't. And there was this one portion of it where there was dust stuck in and it was so impacted that nothing could pass through. So I wasn't able to vacuum for a really long time because I kept trying to clean it. And then once you clean your vacuum, because you can take all of the parts apart and wash it with warm soapy water, you need to let it dry overnight or for 24 hours before you put it back together because you don't want to run the vacuum when it's still wet. I did this multiple times and the basement really was neglected. I don't spend a ton of time down here other than exercising. For some reason, we haven't been down here a lot. I know our nanny spends a lot of time down here with Owen during the days just to mix it up a little bit. And with the weather being so much nicer at night, instead of heading downstairs to play with Owen, we do a lot of time outside. So I had not been spending a lot of time down here and didn't realize how horribly messy and dirty the carpet was. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I want to go all in So give me a sign Also in the exercise room, giving that a vacuum, picking up some weights in our foam roller and the exercise room, there's a window there. So I don't know if that's the reason, but we tend to get some of the bugs, bugs that get into basements. So things like centipedes and little spiders and stuff in the workout room. And I lay on the floor there, which is really gross. So I had to vacuum a few of those things up. And I am also gonna use this opportunity to spray down the mirrors with some glass spray. Again, Owen's in here with his hands and he likes pressing against the mirrors. I'm sure sometimes I'm doing things where like I'm balancing on one leg and I'm about to topple over and touch my hand to the mirrors. And I just can't even tell you the last time I've cleaned off the mirror in here. So it needed it. I got my glass cleaner in my glass and silicone spray bottle. I'm using one of my microfiber cloths that I sell on my website and cleaning it up. I'm also gonna clean off this unit. This one gets really slobbery, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the top there just because fingerprints don't reach that high and I'm too lazy to get out a stool, but I'm gonna clean all the way down and I saw another little spider there that the vacuum didn't pick up. You'll see how grossed out I was by it, but I was proud that I got it myself. For today's recipe, I decided I was going to make some healthy blueberry muffins. And yes, these are meant for kids, but whether you are a kid or have kids or a baby or a toddler or not, 
These muffins are delicious. They're just healthier because they're made with Greek yogurt, reduced sugar. It's actually just maple syrup and I cut the sugar in half even. So you can do a regular amount of the maple syrup that the recipe says, and there's whole wheat flour in there. And I will link in the description box the recipe that I use, but I'll also list on the screen here the ingredients that I use. That way you can kind of watch the ingredients that I'm putting in there. And you can also get a sense of if it's a recipe that you might enjoy or not. I really like making muffins for actually a few different reasons. One of the reasons is because they're quite simple to make. They don't take too long to cook, but I really like that I don't have to bring out my stand mixer. I can just use one mixing bowl. You can separate out the wet and dry ingredients, but I don't really worry about it too much. I don't have issues with how my muffins turn out. I just do the wet ingredients in the bowl first, then mix in the dry ingredients. And then if you have things like blueberries or chocolate chips, you can stir those in at the end. I also like it because it is simple to make in the sense of if you're making a breakfast food, I think pancakes take forever because you're doing them one at a time. So there are sheet pancakes, which have gotten really popular. Muffins are just simple to put in the muffin tray and let them all cook at the same time together and you can just walk away and not worry about it. They're also great to freeze. So I am doing a double batch and I am going to freeze half of it and then put the other half in the refrigerator for quick, easy snacks or breakfasts, mostly for Owen, but I know that I am probably gonna sneak a muffin or two and Jim will definitely be trying to sneak some of these muffins as well. You'll see I got a little excited as I was stirring there and some blueberries fell out, but that's okay. I picked them up and put them back in the bowl. I'm using silicone cupcake liners, which make cleanup very simple. And I also like that they're reusable. I love that on Saturdays, there's just so many random things that I try and get done around the house. And I know that's what I try and share with you, but sometimes I leave out little things like this. I noticed in our powder room, the bathroom we have on our main floor that the soap was running very, very low. So I'm going to rinse it out get rid of that soap that was in there at the bottom because it was actually quite a strong scent. I really liked it, but I'm trying to rinse it out as much as possible before I add in new soap. And I strangely had these Simple Human soap sample packets and want to get rid of them. They just seem to take up more space. I try and buy things, especially like soap refills in bulk and refill containers like this. So I am trying to get rid of those. There was one extra that didn't quite fit in there. It would have fit halfway probably, but I didn't want to leave one of those halfway open. So I just put the other one under the countertop there. Have you even noticed? Now I'm just cleaning off the kitchen table, still from breakfast there. I didn't quite finish cleaning up the kitchen earlier. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I have our laundry that I typically wash on Fridays. If you know my cleaning schedule, I wash all of our darks on Fridays. So the fact that it is Saturday and I have not folded this means that I'm human and do what so many people do. You wash and dry your laundry and then fail to fold it. So I'm going to get this taken care of, get things folded, and and put away. You'll see one of the first things I like to do is to sort my clothing versus Jim's clothing. I try and lay his clothing out as nice as possible or just not in a ball so it doesn't get all wrinkled when he's not around to fold his laundry. A lot of times I do our loads of laundry during the week when he is at work. Since I work from home, I can easily pop things into the wash, switch them to the dryer. I usually wait till after work to fold. It kind of just like depends on my day, but Jim definitely can't fold his laundry in the middle of the day because he's not home. So I try to lay it out nicely. So when he gets home, it is not wrinkled, but it's clean and washed and ready for him to fold. 
You'll see I also have my iPad set up. If you know me, I bring my iPad most places around the house with me when I'm on my own, and that's my way of watching my favorite TV shows. I can't even tell you the last time I sat down at our couch and turned on the TV. I just easily have everything accessible on my iPad that I like to watch. We have Netflix and Hulu on there, and that's pretty much all I need and I do it while I cook or fold laundry or clean or whatever the case might be but I have it propped up here so I can watch some shows that I missed over the past week I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time you try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. The last thing I have on my to-do list today is to go downstairs and get a quick workout in. I didn't do a workout this morning. Usually we go to the gym, but I wasn't able to this morning. So I'm going to get it in at the house. Very convenient because we have a little gym in our house. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a combination of a walk jog and a workout with kettlebells today. So I started off on the treadmill doing my walking first. You'll see I have my iPad with me again and I am going to walk and jog. I am doing intervals. I use this running app. It's called either 5k runner, 10k runner, or 21k runner, depending on what level you're at in your running journey. I think the first one is maybe like a couch to 5k or it's called something like that but if you look up 10k runner that's the one i'm using right now or 5k runner and i love it because they're usually running about three days a week and then it gives you rest days and it slowly builds up your endurance by giving you how long to walk how long to jog and all of that after i finished that up i decided to do a little workout video on my ipad again and it's a kettlebell workout we do have kettlebells and i don't really use them that often I did this workout a couple of rounds. So I'm gonna show you what one round looked like. And after I did the first round with the kettlebell, I did the next rounds with my weights for some of the moves and kettlebells for other moves because I just found that the kettlebell was a little bit awkward for a few of the things. And it's all about what works for you. If you are curious, the workouts that I'm doing, because I know sometimes people ask that, I use the workout program from Kim Perry. I found her on Instagram when I was trying to get pregnant the first time. She has all stages of motherhood. So if you are in the phase where you are getting pregnant and having babies and your postpartum, all of that, I've been doing her abs after baby program. So a workout program for newer moms. When I was pregnant, I used her fit pregnancy program. And then she does have one for women who want to get pregnant. But honestly, you don't need to be somebody who's in that phase to enjoy her workout. Those are the workouts that I have been doing for the past few years. It just depends on what phase and what cycle I'm in based on which one of her programs I'm using. So that is it for today's video. I will leave you here as I finish up my workout because you don't need to see the entire thing and see me do this all over again. But I really hope you enjoyed this sophisticated Saturday. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more because there are plenty of these sophisticated Saturday videos and always more to come. But until next time, I will see you all later.